Where's the remote? Found it. Turn off the lights. All right. Did you grab the drinks? Yeah, I got them. Okay, I'm making the popcorn. It's starting. Come on. All right, all right. Okay, I'm here. Hit the button. Hi, I'm Jill. <laughs> and I'm Gianna. And welcome, and welcome to, to the, the We Watch, Watch it, it All podcast. podcast, where we watch it all and give you our opinions. AKA the opinions no one ever asked for. Season 13, episode 6, Old Bats Are Off. It's another one that was pretty like... Oh my god, both our shows this week have just been boring I, yeah, filler episodes. Like, what the hell is going on here? I'm not really sure, but they've got this new little way of introing i feel like where yeah, they like do like, like, like blur 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 so you got like danielle with her kid like oh we're jumping right into it what? well really quickly oh the oc has recorded their taglines mm. and they are probably it seems like they're finishing their sit down interviews no i don't know what they oh. are no 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 i just this is this is from gina herself she said taglines are recorded it's coming okay which a lot of people did think that actually it was supposed to come sooner, but now because of Scandaval, they yeah. have kind of delayed it because why would you try to, like, why would you try to, like, match, you know, yeah. try to put two big titles back to back to each other? Yeah, you Let Scandaval die down, and then guess what? You oh, put Bravo right I back in the news. I don't think Scandaval's done. No, I don't now. think so because now I'm, I'm seeing things that saying it, it's confirmed they kissed at Coachella. I don't even know what that means. Uh, somebody has gotten the right tom and has figured out that he did do it i guess somebody there's been people that are coming up with the uh the, more pu- the puzzle pieces mm-hmm. together here well i'm only i'm on season two now of vanderpump rules so i'm I'm actually on his first cheating scandal right now so mm. that that that's where i'm at but oh, yeah I'm working my it's way through it's gonna make you not have sympathy though for ariana i feel because you're watching him do basically what he's doing again to someone else but you know it is what it is yeah it, it's kind of like it's like wow how do people feel bad for her because she was like the one that she was you know cheating on with but then it's also kind of like you're looking at it and it's like well they supposedly have lasted in like a long-term relationship yeah but then you're also i guess here's the other thing too from what you've told me with Kristen for a long time well true so there's but that, you yeah. also said Kristen. now that's the other thing is Je- her and jack's cheated so it's kind of like oh my god you don't feel bad for anybody i feel like you know the only one you can really walk away liking is maybe stassi so far that's the only one i'm like yeah she might not be the only one that's not entirely in the wrong here oh she does her own share of things that's why she's no longer on there all righty her and christine they got the boot together at the same time oh geez all right well let's get into the new jersey ones then just giving, just giving a little Vanderpump update where I am at, so. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Take it away. Well, they start with just giving, like I said, the little glimpses of each woman's life. Like, they got Danielle taking her daughter to school, like, uh, mocking her. She is the new Melania, if I've ever seen her before in my life. But a little bit better. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, she, I still, well, feel, like, I still feel like Jennifer's daughter is, like, a, more of, like, a Melania. Well, she's there, too. But this girl's sassy like Melania, where she'll, she's, so, is somebody playing the guitar? You think that's what he's got the computer in there for? He's got a little garage band run? I don't know. It kind of feels like it was. There's only one musician that can be biased, and that was our old neighbor. Okay? He had an actual band. He went to actual shows. We contemplated showing up. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, go, Dolores. go, go. So they go right on to Dolores getting dressed, and Marge <clears throat> having her surgery, her hand surgery, and her hand magically having its own mind and rising on its own you know but you know you gotta love joe but you know he's like no marge you're raising it yourself you gotta love him they're absolute kooks yeah absolutely i mean there's no doubt they're total cuckoo coos and then of course there's Teresa at her therapist too much therapy for one episode here's my thing i just don't know how much oh yeah because there was two people but i just don't know how much of this therapy i'm buying of Teresa's because i don't buy any of the therapy Mm -mm. that they do on camera well i don't buy hers anyway because i feel like louis has her on a pr redemption tour Ooh. because when they showed him at the um Reunion, the where reunion. he was like, he was making her. comments to her saying, Oh, you know, this isn't good. You don't look good. Blah, blah, yeah. blah. You're making yourself look not good. And I think he does know she looks bad. Because, yeah. listen, we all know she looks bad. Somebody's got to catch on to this shit eventually and say something to her. So I think 
he realizes how poorly she's making herself look. Interesting. And he has, he seems to have a bit of control over her because she's so like, enamored with him. That, she's in her love bubble. Mm-hmm, that I think he knows he can get her to do almost anything. Yeah. So Come I on, think, that's an interesting theory. Yeah. This is, this is, you know what, we need because to have like her. a segment of every if episode, like listen, of a Teresa theory. If you listen to that therapist, she was talking about, um, you know, how Boys Night didn't go well and how, you know, um, Joe was yelling at him and this, that, and the other thing. And if you listen to the therapist, that's definitely his therapist or his friend or he got her because he said she makes comments about him like she knows him. Yeah. She's like, yeah, no, Louis is very... Um, did she say laid back or understanding? Maybe they or have something. couples therapy something, with this. I don't know, but it was something like where he referenced the fact that... She, they didn't make it sound like they were going to couples, though. No, no, But I she know. made it sound like know, she knew his personality or how he was or something so like i'm like okay how how do you know that based on what she says because it didn't seem like it was like that it seemed like it was more based on like her own personal knowledge i don't know i just i mean she she watches the show yeah i I mean i literally wrote the lady's blowing smoke up her ass (laughs) and she's letting her believe that she's right because she is she's she's letting her believe that everything that's being said treats us on the right which well we'll just wait till we get down to judy with jennifer but judy But I really was surprised at the one revelation was that um, Antonia did not go to Melania's Sweet 16. Yeah. I was really surprised at that because they are really close. And, I mean, if you did a Sweet 16, usually you have a court, but I guess she didn't do that. It didn't seem like she did because even her oh, yeah. sisters were all in just plain dresses. So I guess she didn't do that. I guess it was just a party for her or whatever. I, like, I guess she didn't do the typical, I think, like, Antonia did the whole like you know call people up type thing oh yeah, yeah yeah i don't think she did that kind of stuff so well my one thing was that i i i, I said to you while we were watching teresa's like everybody was there but antonia so like what she didn't clear up and i would like yeah. to know was was melissa joe and the boys there and yeah. just not each other or was i mean maybe i'm sure somebody, somebody had to, to take, take her to cheer so maybe i would assume i personally would assume melissa would have taken her to cheer and joe would have went but that's my question like did the whole family not show up because of this cheer competition? Or did some of them show up and just not her go? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, and they're making it sound like it was something other than it was or something. Yeah, I don't, I don't just, really... I don't really know. Yeah, I don't... I'm just... I was very surprised at that, that she didn't... Um, Which is interesting because they constantly are doing this thing where it's like... Melissa is like, oh, treat them, you know whatever like yeah don't let the relationships ruin and now this episode Teresa brings up well antonia didn't come to the sweet 16 which is kind of interesting and that, the other thing that threw me off was when she of all people she starts talking about how she's afraid of her brother's temper yeah. that it frightens her and i'm thinking is she kidding me she's actually the same person like yeah with long hair I the mean, same exact. They showed enough eclipse in this. They episode. showed all of her clips. They showed yeah, the table. Saying. They showed enough eclipse to be like mm, everything. Know, they showed you, everything from the past who are you talking year. About, she's sweetie? been on the show. I'm Every time she's, she's over, she went. She's went bonkers. There really wasn't that many scenes to be honest with you, because it was that one, and then the only other one that was like a little bit more entailed was like the Marge and uh, Jen Fessler. Yeah, they went from Marge and Jen Fessler to. Jennifer Aiden, <clears throat> excuse me, Jennifer Aiden and Bill, and they did one of those back and forth swap yeah, things, conversations like where, one where we're like talking, they're talking about yeah. the same thing. But but I I do love I think I love Jennifer Fessler how she talks Jen Fessler how she talks to people because she's exactly what I feel like a regular person would say. Yeah. Like she calls people out and she doesn't call them out in a bad way because even like with Marge, she was telling her I don't like what you were doing. I don't really like you were fighting like you were a 16 year old throwing things out like like what yeah. the heck and she said to her she's like you can't do that like you have to you have to be better than that like that's not the Marge I know and even like when Marge was like I don't care I'm not talking to her she's like oh Marjorie Joseph like like she made like a yeah. comment like to let her know I'm disappointed but like not you know whatever what d- am I gonna yeah, do about like, it what am I gonna do about it like she does talk to her in like a a good way but a real person way yeah like I feel like in a, like a real you know and then I just can't with Jennifer Aiden. I just can't. Like, she spent there talking. That husband has, he has cornered the market on just sitting quietly. 
it took him a bit because, you know, she wants him to fluff her up or whatever the hell she called it last week. But, man, he reali- he really got that sit and listen yeah, down he, and he, just... Yeah, he did a lot of sitting and looking, uh-huh. Bill, this week. He, he did kept a... his mouth shut. Don't go, don't... He only tried to talk once in therapy and he was shut down instantly. So, I don't know how much... Well, I don't know what kind of couple. Yeah, but even there sitting with him, he like she comes over and she's he's like, "Oh, well, let me get to your drink." Um, that was like two inches that was missing. Okay, but and of course Miss Olivia was on the scene again. And then when they went to the baseball field, what child's there? Olivia. Yeah, again. she's like she can't part with her mother. No, she can't part with the fact that when her mother's with the group, they're on camera, and she wants to be on camera. <laughs> And I'm sure she would have been up her mother's nose if she was allowed to film. She probably they probably tell her you can't certain things she can't be involved in. So that's Well yeah, she can't I think it's still kind of like a working thing like mm-hmm. a kid. She can probably only be there for so many hours of the day. So yeah, she definitely can't. And there might be just there be certain things like you don't want like you don't want Rachel telling her about her daughter wanting to be a th- love therapist when she's standing right there. Like you won't get that same effect yeah. of like, you know, the, her being like so oh, you know, or whatever. I mean if it happened in real time like where it was just like a thing that popped up, there's not like how it did with her when she was telling Rachel it okay, that's one thing, but before all that, we don't want to go crazy. We do head over to Dolores and Paulie's house yeah. and I could watch these two fools do anything. I mean, I watched them make coffee. I watched her get dressed. I mean, I don't even care. They are just yeah. so cute together. I, I didn't really realize till this episode that he really has like a little Irish oh, accent. Yeah, 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 a I didn't bit. realize It's not that. too, too strong. It's just a little bit. Uh-huh. It's, it's a, it's a, a little wee sun. little one. Yeah, a wee little one, yeah. He was making her coffee while they were waiting for Dad to show up. And Dad's a little character, too. He's a little cute. Yeah. Clean of the gun. They, they've just been run through Dolores and her parents. They had, a, they had mom, now they got Dad. Dolores is really, um, she might be getting that center, that center spot. Yeah. I don't that seat next to Andy. If she gets that seat next to Andy, we'll watch out, boys and girls. She could. She, she could. could. Be. Because there's a lot. She's got a lot of storyline going on with Frank, Paulie, yeah. this new relationship. I mean, Teresa will always be on the other side, but it's a question of who's on the other side. I think it would be her. It could Because be. Melissa does, even though Melissa's in the, you know, the main uh, conflict. she doesn't have enough. She's not nope. the main. Even Jennifer Aiden doesn't. I, no. I don't know, like. Yeah, I can see Dolores she's being reaching. there. Where Dolores stuff is coming just naturally up. And watch his face, please. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Of the pooch. Pop, pop. Just lay down, Poppy. Oh, my God in heavens. Anyway, they're kind of, they kind of got a little bit of the storyline with Frank and them and but I just, I hope they get married. I really do. Oh. I hope they get married. Well, the dad a do, does. A, Daddy does too. A, do, a Dolores wedding special. Oh, I, I don't know if they'd give her one, but I'd like to see it. I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's more, I, I think they would give her one, it. but yeah, but it's more of like, I don't know if she would do it. I don't think she would. I think she would do one or the other. She'd either do the proposal or the or the wedding. She'd do one of, one of them. She'd keep I secret. I think she would probably share the proposal rather I think than so the too. wedding. Because that's a lot. You can, Now you got the, all these cameras up in your face asking for all this. Like, you know, that's a lot more than just being like, I'm and I, the he's proposal. kind of not, I don't want to say he's deliberately um, avoiding some events, but. It He's does getting seem so lucky. Like it is. I mean, that's it's it. kind of disappointing because it's like I, you know, we're all just waiting for him to go to a damn event, and he hasn't well, gone to any. He definitely, I'm sure he will at some stage of the game, and it'll it'll come to a head. Yeah, because now it's kind of building up this tension of yeah. like when he first comes to now a party with him, it's going to be big. Oh yeah. So it's definitely yeah. Look at nice. that little natural building. On to the next little groupy group, which finally Melissa is out with the friend that she brought on the show. Oh yeah, she is. Like, let's go. I, Rachel, I was so distracted. Still don't know what Rachel does for a no, living. No, we still don't. But so... I was more so distracted with the outfit. They were go- they're going to batting practice here. Yes, for the but charity. as you can see, it was clearly like a bar type yeah. batting cage. But everybody thing. else was a kind of appropriately dressed. Mm-hmm. Melissa, what were you wearing, Melissa? She had like. Like, like one of those like the fl- flowy pants. It's like a it's like a like a one piece kind of pant, and it's like a shirt. I don't know. If, maybe the shirt wasn't connected. I but it was definitely not. Can't even picture it. It was kind of classic Melissa attire. But at least Rachel Fuda had the she had like yoga pants on. She the, yeah. she was ready to bat. Melissa not, no Melissa had like a gold chain on too and everything. Well, you know. Melissa was not here to bat. No, I. I'm amazed that she even made contact with the ball at the game. I mean, I think like, everybody did hit the ball at least once. Yeah, I think so. But you know, but the only good thing is like now that she does these, like the kids are getting older, so like they were able to bring little Joey, and I think Melania played. I don't know if the other one played Gia, but yeah, and they then brought you had Louis' kid. son, and then Jennifer Fesla. I think that was her son that was there as well. Oh, I, don't I think know, she brought a young kid with her, so I think it was her her son. 
Um, well, we well hope the young kid she did bring was her son and not some stranger. Yeah, I don't know who so that could have been. Yeah. Oh, and then also um, Frank showed up too. Yeah, with his Fra- girlfriend. With his girlfriend. Yeah, I think they're a cute couple. They're no Dolores and him, but I, you know, after seeing her with Paulie and like. I just don't, I don't think he deserves to ever get her back because listening to these episodes where she really talks about like all she went through with him and how she maintained a good relationship with him despite all that, I give her props because I would not have been able to be nice. Yeah. I wouldn't have been able to be nice, hence why it wasn't nice. So <laughs> I'm just saying, I, you know, it's not something that's easy to do. So I give yeah. her props that she wanted to maintain her family, but it also sounds like he was a good father. It makes a difference. You can be a sucky husband, but if you're a good father, that makes it a little easier to, like, justify working it out with people, like, so that your kids get the benefit. But if you're a sucky father, yeah. forget that. I will say the best part about the batting cages for me was actually Melissa has been making a lot of, like, jokes Ooh. this season at her own expense. She has been getting it. She got in the batting cage and she's like, let me not mess up my, my, like, seven nose, nose jobs. job. So I was like, okay. Yeah, she's been really good. And then she was like, okay, Joe, go in. Let me see what I could have had yeah, with a yeah, ball let's player. Let's see if you can hit better than this. And then she made another one at, at the, the edge. Yeah. Which, I, you know what, I'm I'm all for, like, if somebody's digging on you for these comments, go ahead, turn them into your own joke yep. now. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I also kind of feel like Melissa's in the state of, like, why do I care anymore? No, she doesn't. And she said that. She goes, I'm not getting on the crazy, I'm not getting on whatever she called it, the crazy parade or whatever. I'm not participating in That's it. That's kind of also why I feel like Jackie's more outspoken this season because mm-hmm. in the, the previous for next week, you see Jackie is outspoken. I think, I, think, I think they just don't care. No, and I think Melissa knows either she has to step up and just be like, whatever comes out of her mouth comes out of her mouth. Yeah. Because I think she knows it could be her last season. So yeah. she's either going to do something drastic and I think being a little more vocal and like out there and not taking Teresa's crap might help her case. Well, we'll yeah. we will see though. I, I don't know. But I either think they're either going to get rid of all of them or yeah. give them one more shot next season to like see if they could somewhat pull it together. I don't, I'm I, only saying all of them by like, I mean like Teresa and Melissa both yeah. lose it. Like not just one or the other. I think they would both go. I don't think they would choose one. Maybe, but. They were all trying to help poor little Frankie Frank, make him realize that, you know, he can't have Dolores all to himself, and he is sad, and I do feel bad for him, because I know it is probably hard, because you do have, you know, such a relationship with her, and, like, he's saying that, like, when he calls her and stuff, like, he doesn't answer, or she says, I'll call you back, and... It is sad. I, I get that. But, you know, you have to understand, like... But it's also kind of like, why do you have your own girlfriend then? <laughs> I don't know. Like, if you're gonna, like, I don't know, how was the girlfriend not sitting there being like, this she is kind of be- weird. No, but she said because she's known them both for so long and she's known this kind of dynamic. But yeah, I guess. So she's been in the, in their life in some way, shape, or form because she trained them. So she said it's they've always been close like that. So, and you've never, you know, she said I never felt like any, there was a problem with no, that. No, I know, but it's still kind of like. No, I wouldn't be able more to. More from him, it's it weird. Would, that's, yeah, hard. So God bless her. So everybody goes to the game now. Yeah. We're off to the game, and she has the calendars. God bless her soul. And <laughs> she starts showing them around to everybody. Like, she says it's going to be a surprise. Jackie's... Yeah, there's only little sneak peeks yeah, that you can see. Yeah, didn't see everybody. They showed Yeah, but Evan. then why would they you buy the showed... calendar yeah, if you could no, see No, true that. They showed Evan. They showed somebody else. Oh, they showed the group picture. Yeah. Oh, they showed Frank, because, you know, the bunny picture. That was great. Evan actually looked pretty good. He was kind of surprised at how good he looked himself. Did you not feel that? <laughs> Like he bit. was like, whoa. Even Jackie was a little like, I know. He was Everybody like, was taking back. Look what you did. Like he was pretty uh, He was like, Did they photoshop me on somebody I else's don't know. body? He was, I, I thought that was odd. But then you have Jackie arrives and Danielle arrives. And then you have March comes with a broken arm. Three of them of course start chatting it up about, you know, Jennifer Aiden, what else could we talk about? And that's the funny thing. They always they just if Jennifer Aiden's not in the room. It's you gotta start talking talk about, about Jennifer yeah. Aiden. And it's like Jennifer Aiden's always in the room. But don't you feel like they always say that she's the one doing all this talking and stuff like that? But yet, I feel like they do a lot of talking about her. I mean, yeah, but I think it's because she's slick, Jennifer Aiden. She does a lot of her stuff off camera. She's making these calls off camera. Yeah. But she takes pictures for proof. Like, she showed a picture when she was talking about it of her and that girl, of her friend, uh, Marge's friend. She took a selfie with her, like, to prove, like look here we are like i'm here i met her i'm not lying it's the truth i, I don't know yeah, i just thought that was know. weird but danielle you know they try to talk to danielle about what's going on with jennifer i think they're trying to get her to side with her and i don't see her as the type of person to side with anybody just blindly she was like yeah no um 
she said I really like her so it hurts me to think yeah. that she could be this way and like I, I think she's gonna need to like to pick a side someone's gonna have to do her wrong on one no, of the sides no but you know what's funny it's like yeah I think so too about that but what's funny to me is that like Teresa's giving her these warnings but yet Marge is saying like no be friends with Jennifer and that's fine like they're almost doing the same thing that we were saying like Teresa's doing on her kids versus what Melissa's doing with her kids yeah. about like listen I don't want anything to come in between you guys you guys are all friends so stay friends isn't that and like I don't feel like they're doing that like I don't feel like they're yeah. reciprocating on on that level but I will say something that was interesting to me at the start well like when they were all arriving is when Teresa and Louie and all them arrive they greet obviously the Gorgas and I felt like Louie's son was more excited to see Joe Gorga than Melania and Gia who've been talking about like oh he was we haven't he seen made a comment like movies. something something but like they ha- I think this editor or wh- what would you call it yeah editor the right? editors yeah. yeah they were having a field day with chopping this piece up and putting it back together because I don't think any of this hardly happened the way it did oh you're talking about when the sun walks away yeah, I don't think any no, of that happened. No, I don't happened. think that did. But I'm talking think... in the locker room. Where, where no, they yeah, first... I, yeah, no, I saw that too where he was like... The oh, son was really oh, like excited to here, see yeah. him. And... I think he he probably doesn't know what's going on. He probably is more out of the loop than the girls. The girls well, probably true, but no, I'm cause... just saying, I think it's funny that Gia and Melania talked about how, oh, we miss our uncle, we yeah, miss Yeah, and then they uncle. gave the old mm, side kiss. Yeah, like it was just like, it was just like, oh, hey, hey yeah. how you doing? No, it was like they were saying like hi to like a, like anybody. a random yeah. friend. Just like they just introduced the It's like this is your friend. uncle that you've been like, you were like, oh, he didn't come to the party. Uh, that sucks. No. I wanted to see him so bad. He's here. No, I'm nothing. No, it is like, it's weird. Yeah. No, I noticed that too. Who showed up then? Jennifer Festa showed up with her son. Rachel shows up with her husband. And of course, now that Rachel's in the mix, they start talking again about Jennifer Aiden and like who's going to be friends with her and who's this. And they find out about, oh, you know, keep your enemies closer and your, or your friends and your enemies closer, whatever that phrase goes. And they, um, though she, the, the one where Teresa said better to keep her as a friend, friend than, than an enemy. enemy. And then, you clearly stated that where was her explosive table scene against Marge of last year and there Yeah, was. I said that when they were scene. showing all her clips. I was waiting for it. I'm like, there you go. But did you see, I watched it three times, did you see that when she threw that table, did you see Louie jump up and like dart away? No, I'd have to On the to left hand side, I, it was very hard to see, but like she threw that, he got up like, I cannot be with this. Therapist, like, therapist. Yeah, I'm going to call the woman. Yeah, I noticed that. And I'm thinking, that's your woman. Like, you need to get on her. But... let least grab a glass and throw one. At least pretend and like And then all support. you hear, they're talking about Jennifer. And all you hear is, hello, we're here. You woke up the cats. Yeah, I'm like, oh my God, that's She Jill Zarin does. Of the voice. Surprise. Surprise. Yeah, it was just like that. Hello. I'm like, oh, brother. And then March, um, Jennifer Aiden told her husband not to be nice to her. And what do they do? They go right up to her and they're like, oh, Bill, oh, March. And, like, Jennifer's like, I'm not even saying anything to her. And March did say hello to her. March was just like, hi, hi, Bill, or whatever. And it's like, Jennifer. And she wouldn't even turn around. So I'm like, okay. I guess she's like that. And then you get Melissa and Joey show up with little Joey, which he's really short i thought one of them was bigger i guess that's geo is taller geo is the second kid well i don't really know i don't know but they brought little joey as i like to refer to him still um and then Teresa shows up with obviously louis melania and gia and louis son louis i believe yeah louis yeah little louis and little joey we got on the fields here uh, they both caught a ball, I think. Yeah, I think they did. Yeah, I didn't understand that. Like, as soon as Mel- uh, as soon as Teresa showed up, like he just walked right away from her. Like that, he's got to know that's like gonna cause a riff. Like because she's gonna be like, "Well, I thought we squashed it. I thought we said we were gonna work on it." And all no, of a sudden, no, no, she did. S- oh, like I think they, they were looking at in. the calendar together, and in her sit down, she said, "No." When they they were talking about the calendar. And in her sit down, she's like, "This is exactly how it's supposed to be," or something. I don't know if she said in her sit down or she was saying it to Louis. That's what I was saying with this editor situation. Like, they really made it like because she greeted her and didn't seem like to have a problem. And then she's like, "Oh, hey, hi, hi, hi. Oh, did you see the calendar? Blah blah blah." And then all of a sudden, you see like Joe's like, which I understand. I think he was just trying to take a minute for himself to like, because you know she came in gangbusters with the girls and all like that. And I think he was just like. Let me take a minute, but like the way they were editing it, even on the field, like they were editing it, like he was. Um, Everybody was trying to ignore. Yeah, each like other. he was like, like Joey. They made it look like Joey was talking to the two girls, and then he was like, Joey, come here. Like, which yeah, I don't think I don't he was. Think like, I don't think it was anything like that. And I think they tried to make it look like that. My thing too is while they were talking to it, Gia did another sit down, 
And she was saying, like, oh, how I miss it. Like, here's my thing and why I can't side with her and I'm talk bad about her. You're my age, girl. I know you definitely got a car. Yeah, that's what I'm if saying. If you want to see your cousin so bad, you would make it happen. You literally can go pick them up, yeah. just go grab a little something at a fast food restaurant. I don't know. Go to a yeah. fancy restaurant. Go wherever you want to go. You can do it. You can drive. Yeah, if I, I wanted to see my cousins that bad, that's what I would do. But Like, I can't, I just, yeah, I don't. And here's my thing. Then, it would only help your case if you go to their house and you arrive and say, hey, I was wondering if I could take them out. We're going to go yeah. have lunch or something. And, and, and they're no. like, no. And, yeah, and Joe and Melissa were like, yeah, no, they're not going with you. No, yeah, that just I... helps your case now, then, if that yeah. if that is, is true. I mean, why not at least take that chance once? You know, yeah, that's it, my thing. I, I, it's weird because they they mention that. Oh, uh, I think you know, Zia, uh, Melissa, and and my uncle are trying to keep them away from us and stuff. And I'm like, I don't know about all I, that. This is I not really don't. damn I just think, Rapunzel. No, they don't but, have them locked up just, in a tower. To be honest with you, I also think those two young boys really don't care to be hanging around with some girl cousins. Yeah. Like, so I think it is more of, like, when, if it was Antonia, okay. But, like, would you just, like, be able to, like, when you also, see him, you talk. Like, I feel their their relationship be exactly what it was. They saw him. They asked him about his hair. They asked him about his arms. It was, like, okay, you can still reconnect with yeah. your cousins. But they're not going to be, he's not going to be up your nose. Also, like, when you real. think about it, I feel like Teresa's kids are a little bit more... They like the spotlight and all things like that. Melissa's kids are very normal kids. No, they don't They do really. cheerleading. They do football. No, they not also have wrestling. after not... school activities. Yeah. As somebody who has a cousin who did soccer, no, yeah, I don't get to is... see him no. when he is, when he, anybody who plays a sport. When they're playing a sport, especially these boys who are going to a high school level now, you are not going to see them yeah, a lot no. because if they're, they're still doing training. the wrestling and all like that kind of stuff that I believe they were doing. That's very wrestling intense. only gets more serious yeah, that's, in, that's in high school. Intense. A lot so, of yeah. I don't know. It was just funny because they were all acting like, and they were all acting like nothing was wrong. It was like a weird pretending type thing. I don't know. It was kind of weird. Yeah. No. It was, it was weird. weird. They won the game. Needless to say, and she raised two hundred thousand, so she upped her goal by twenty. So that I was think it's neat. funny though. You can see a difference in the audience from i feel like last season to this one probably this was definitely more like like i think people knew about the anybody who knew about this game probably knew from like social media last season yeah. this one was definitely like oh crap they're doing that again i have yeah, a chance to be on tv now yeah let I me think, go like, they knew so I mean, well because now she... people were in the stands with posters and things i mean it only yeah. helps her charity I mean, i'm glad she yeah exactly that she did well because that's good and then of course we go to jennifer aiden and bill therapy with judy Oh I'm my sorry, but God. Judy looked like she was crazy cracked, and Juicy, that's the only, Juicy. <laughs> that's the only reason. I can't even, but that's no. the only thing that made me believe that she actually might be like a legit therapist was because she she seemed too normal and she didn't know what she was walking into. Judy, no, because she's like, here, fill out the paperwork and then I'll I'll come back and get you. And I'm like, okay, this is real life. They're filling out like the the insurance. They're actually form. filling stuff out. Yeah, yeah like the, she don't care. She's like, fill out your forms. I don't care who you are. But, yeah. I mean, yeah. Jennifer dominated that therapy. No, but much. you know what? See, here's my thing. I can understand a little bit where Jennifer's coming from. And I know Bill's not going to like it, but I feel like she is dealing, and it is right back up to the surface for her that he cheated on her because I think she yep. pushed it down for so long, for so so far, that yes, she was able to go on without thinking about it. But now because they brought it up, and they brought it up in the worst possible way that, like, she mentioned that Olivia, the one that wants to be a love therapist, saw a TikTok about it. Yeah. So, which, I mean, I, I understand that. So, so it's like... I did say, we were kind of like, oh, how did... Yeah. You know, she told and the oldest she, too. But I was like, here's yeah. my thing. Any kid that I think had internet access, even if you don't think they're going to see it... You should have told them. You should have yeah. probably told them because there is a high chance that they're going to like see Or at it. least you don't have to... Maybe don't go into detail. Just be like, you know, people are saying things that are not nice about mom and dad, and it's because we're on the show or whatever. And just so whatever you read, come and ask us first. Don't just take it at face value or something like that. Yeah. You know, but I could see that little girl, Olivia, Googling her mom and her mom's name for sure. Or like putting something. I definitely could see her doing that. I haven't seen the older daughter at all. She used to be in it a lot last year. Oh, yeah. She's kind of now she's disappeared disappeared and i don't see her at all so she was in like the first episode i think and that was it yeah and i don't think she's college material yet no. i don't think so so i don't know i don't even know if she's in high school no she was maybe I think she's she was going like into a high freshman school. No, i think she was like a freshman or something but i don't know what she could have been hmm. doing that she's not in anything also so. a really good part in the therapy is like the therapist is like bill's very silent and jennifer goes yeah he's always silent and you could tell the therapist was gonna be like 
But I, I think we should let him, like, speak, speak now. Yeah, because she's, she's really I know, dominating. and she just, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I mean by, like, she took this over. Yeah. She, at that point... The therapist is not supposed to let that happen. Like, that's the whole point of the therapist. They're supposed to Little real Judy in ha- her little seat <laughs> was not going to take down Jennifer Aiden right no, there. No, but you just moment. reel her in a touch. I mean, I mean, but here's my thing. If you weren't going to let... If Jennifer wasn't going to let him speak, she might as well just go to therapy on, on her, her own. Because it's yeah. not couples therapy. You're just venting at that point and Bill's listening. Which yeah. is what you did at home, so... We didn't need to rehash that again. But man, he again with the face like, I'm here, but whatever. I don't want to be here. Just send me the bill yeah, after this. Just, I'll just whatever, yeah, please. Let's just, you know. I mean, I feel bad because I do get, he, they both have very valid points. Like, I know yeah. she's dealing with it again. And he's like, so of course now I'm the villain and I'm also the one that gives the discipline. So, you know, there's all that. So, I mean, I get what he's saying, but two valid points. I don't know where they're going to go from here, but. I think we need a bow and no. <laughs> That's a seal in the fate, if I ever heard one. Uh, well, I think Jennifer Aiden is... Jennifer Aiden is acting like she wants a bow or no one. Mm. I don't mean to say it like that, but... I think she's trying to not, because I think she wants it to be his fault. Probably for financial reasons, but... Yeah, I don't know. He's not really giving in. He's just sitting and talking, okay. and I don't think And he's... I don't think he will, because uh, he ain't... You're not a plastic surgery, and dumb. You know that if you leave her, that's going to be money. Money, so. money, money. Big time. Yeah. Do all those kids? Oof. No, no, no. Yeah, but sadly, this was really a filler episode. I think it was yeah. just to give Dolores this charity some spotlight. I think so, which was but, nice. Yeah, but that's yeah. fine, but it was a lot of filler because it ended on therapy. I know. <laughs> like, it started with therapy and ended it did, with therapy. It, just, yeah, it, it was a therapy weird. sandwich here. Yeah, it was very weird. Very, very weird, but... Next week looks good, though. We're headed to the shore. Ooh. Looks kooky. Looks like there's going to be drama we'll know the what house. Rachel does for a living at some stage of the freaking game. Isn't this, like, episode Can six? somebody tell us what she does Rachel, what do you do? I even looked on your instagram just like quickly and i didn't and even see anything in, there's no indicators nope. rachel tell us what you do for a living please we just want like we're just curious at this point like uh, you listen your tagline is pretty good but it could be <laughs> better if we knew what you did like you know what i mean looking it up she's a college graduate with dual degrees oh my wow. god so she not only has one but she has two rachel and she, works don't know full time for her and her husband's fast growing business Valet King? Valet King. Wow. In addition, they're both heavily involved in John's family's company, Fuda Tile. All right. So listen for those key words, Valet King Valet and King. Fuda Tile. That's what we're looking for. If you hear those, you've just won bingo. Ugh. It's You know, it's like Andy, how he has the, the word yeah. drink every time. So if you, hear, if you hear any of those words, go ahead. Take a little bite of mozzarella cheese for us. Yeah, we got to wrap it up. Yep, we got to go. We'll be back <sighs> yeah. next week. That one at least looks pretty good. Yeah. It looks like there's fights everywhere. Let's go down the Jersey Shore, folks. Yeah. All right, so thank you so much for listening or watching. Check out our other podcast. We talk about it all, where we talk about it all. And we are also no longer uploading on Mondays. We are just doing Fridays for The Mandalorian, Saturday for New Jersey, and Ultimate Girls Trip is coming back Woo-hoo. Is coming back. So this is going to be our Can't first wait. time talking about that. So it's very it's exciting. Very exciting think that's all monday episodes will be back when there's no current airing shows yeah but stay posted on that the best way to do that is follow and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss an episode hopefully you'll give us a good rating and if you're on youtube give us a thumbs up don't give us a thumbs down instead leave a hit comment telling us how to in, in improve thank you we'll be back we're next not week. gonna make oh this. we gotta go hit the button